More news surrounding the Acolyte. That's right. It gets worse and worse and worse for Disney every single day, and they deserve it because they truly can't stand Star Wars. They can't stand Star Wars fandom. And now you have this massive YouTube channel, this corporate-style YouTube channel named Looper, going after Critical Drinker and Gary from Nerdrotic. That's right. Now, why would they do that? Why would they be going after Gary and Critical Drinker? Probably because these two guys are two of the biggest voices on the internet right now talking about entertainment, and they are having an impact, and they don't line up with the corporate talking points of the mainstream world. And, of course, Looper very upset about that. So here's Gary's tweet, and he says, Hey, at Looper, why did you delete your post stating that yours truly and the Critical Drinker are encouraging hatred and bigotry with our reviews of a poorly written streaming show? The only ones I see doing that are... Our Lucasfilm hashtag the acolyte. That's right. So this video was uploaded and then removed. Shout out to Raging Rhino, who also has a video on this topic covering this. And he kind of goes through the whole entire video from Looper. We're only going to play this section right here with uh, get what they say about Gary and Drinker. And we're going to talk about a few other things. But let's let's listen to what they say right here. Some audience members have issues with the show's diversity and LGBTQ plus themes, and those should be dismissed. However, viewers should genuinely examine the legitimate criticisms the acolyte has received. Cultural critics like the critical drinker and nerd Roddick have dubbed the show lore-breaking for its recent revelations, but their commentary isn't productive. Rather, it encourages bigotry and hatred over a show that's just getting started. As always, rage baits and review bombings distract from actual criticism. In particular, episode 3 has proven to be controversial, and perhaps rightfully so. I love it. I love that they are trying to call out Gary and the drinker and they backtracked as soon as they started to get some probably some criticism for it. I don't know exactly how it a whole, whole thing works. I don't know how Looper works. I don't know who runs Looper. They obviously have a lot. They're like a watch mojo style. Uh, YouTube channel and brand and so for them to try to get into like calling out other YouTubers over opinions is absolutely hilarious so I love that this is happening I love that Drinker and Gary um, have basically uh, shown that they have influence beyond a lot of the mainstream so they're trying to go after them but of course how's it looking how's it looking right now for the Acolyte um, Ooh, 15 percent still Will it continue to go down? That's been a discussion that we've had over on Geese Gamers Daily, and I'm not sure. We'll see if that continues to go down. I don't know if it can hit single digits. I tend to think it probably won't hit single digits, but I didn't think it was going to get down to 15% either. I mean, before Episode 3, I believe that it was around 24 25%, and now it's down to 15 Now, Episode 3, truly one of the worst episodes of television ever, probably. That's not hyperbole at all. But I do believe that this series could get worse. I know that's shocking. I know it's hard to believe, but this is Disney Star Wars we're talking about. This is Leslie Headland, Harvey Weinstein's former personal assistant. Now, of course, according to Looper, it's Gary and Drinker's fault. But according to everybody else with a working brain and the slightest bit of common sense, it's actually the people involved with the creative process. Dave Filoni, Leslie Headland, Kathleen Kennedy. Those are the people that are responsible. But of course... This is something we're seeing across the board. Here's a person with pronouns in bio, and they screenshotted this tweet from Star Wars Theory, and it says, uh, I'm sick and tired of being labeled racist and homophobic simply for being critical of Star Wars. He's speaking as Theory right there. And then says, uh, to discuss this problem, I've invited a racist and a homophobe on the show. So, of course, you see Star Wars Theory there, and, of course, that's him with Critical Drinker and Long Man Bad Mauler. So, of course, Drinker responds to this and says, excellent work. Please continue to defend soulless, low-quality corporate product. Also, you're literally being the very thing that Theory is calling out. Bam. And this is going to continue as this series continues because Disney is so unaware of what's going on, specifically at Lucasfilm. Lucasfilm is a complete and total disaster on every single possible level. And... I love that they are getting roasted on every single side of the equation. No one, generally speaking, unless you're a shill, is uh, enjoying this show. And again, to be clear, I hate to have to say this over and over again, but it's because people will click, clip me saying this, saying that. If for some reason you're enjoying this show and you're not a shill, 
I support that. I clearly do not agree with you. And if you're out there, I really haven't seen many of those people. I haven't seen hardly anyone, actually, that's enjoying this show outside of the shills. But there might be people out there that are genuinely enjoying this show. I don't know how that's possible, but I just wanted to put that out there. But for the masses out there, the masses, they are hating this show. And episode three was a, a breaking point, I feel, for a lot of people. Now, how much worse can it get? I don't know. Episode four, we know that they're going to introduce pronouns. That's according to Chris Gore, current day pronouns. So then we have five, six, seven, and eight, and can it get worse? I don't know, but I am looking forward to finding out. You guys have a great day. Thank you very much for checking out this video, and we will talk to you later.